Hi guys, I picked up a selection of these 3D dinosaur puzzles at the works. I think I've got about six or seven of them. They're these little wooden push-out kits that you put together and it makes the skeleton of the dinosaur, or at least an, an approximation of the skeleton. It won't be accurate. I've done a few before on my videos. I fast forward them so we can build it in about two minutes. This time I'm going to glue the parts together so it's rigid and then I can use plasticine to flesh it out, make it into the original dinosaur, not just the bones. So we'll see how we get on. First of all I'll make it and then I'll put the plasticine on. finished assembling him. That was actually harder than normal. The pieces seemed to be much tighter fit. I even managed to break one of the pieces and had to hot glue it instead of ordinary glue it. So um, uh, I suppose it's all right. I wasn't as impressed with it as I have been with some of the others. May have just been unlucky. certainly didn't think the uh, picture, which is all you have to tell you how to put the bits together, was very helpful. There's bits under here that I've no idea if I've got them pointing in the right direction. Next stage is to apply the plasticine and make it look like a one that's alive make it look like one that's alive instead of just the skeleton
I think that's as far as I'm going to go. So that's a Parasaurolophosus. Parasaurolophosus. Try one more time. Parasaurolo. Parasaurolophosus. <laughs> How many times do I have to try and say it? Parasaur. My my grandson can pronounce all these. Parasaurolophosus. Parasaurolophus. So it's supposed to look something like that, chap. Just gives you a little bit more of an idea instead of just looking at the skeleton. Obviously, I'm no expert at doing this, as you can probably see. But I thought it might be interesting to try it. <laughs> 